Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday the 10th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so the NIESR has been on. Uh, that's the National Institute for Economic and Social Research. Um, <clears throat> they've re released a report yesterday and it paints a pretty bleak picture of the UK economy going into 2022. Uh, prospects of lower than average growth and continued higher inflation put the fear of stagflation top dead centre once again. Um, although higher inflation may indeed be transitory, the issues behind it are expected to continue for some time to come, possibly all of next year, and that may drive inflation up to a peak of around 5%. Uh, the Institute believes that the government is getting it all wrong with economic management after years of underinvestment in housing, infrastructure and training. So how do you like them apples, Boris? Well, the market certainly wasn't a fan of them apples and sterling sold off when the report was released. We fell to 135.25 against the dollar and about 116.80 against the euro. Um, over in the US, producer prices rose by 8.6% last month. While this is a pretty punchy number, uh, it's still a record, uh, but it's the same as last month. So is it the beginning of where wholesale prices start levelling off? I guess we'll see. Uh, Biden's latest bill, the $1.2 to uh, regenerate infrastructure, should continue. Um, to improve the uh, logistics infrastructure that's plaguing the recovery. I'm sure that institute in the UK would love to see some of them apples, uh, but it's pretty unlikely when the Tories control the purse strings over here. Away from all the spending, the White House appears to be undecided about Fed Chairman Powell's second term. Um, if there was no issue, surely that announcement would have been made by now. What do you think? Instead, we're hearing more about Lael Brainard. Uh, she's been one of the inner core of Fed officials for some time. She's a permanent member of the FOMC and she's seen as a pretty steady hand. She's also tough on governance, which is something the Democrats in Congress are very keen on tightening up. Um, anyway, she has been interviewed by President Biden for the role and we may have a decision before the end of the month. Don't hold your breath though. In the market, the dollar index is experiencing a bit of a drop in risk appetite. That's because all those dodgy, debt-ridden Chinese property conglomerates remain a key focus and retain a very real risk of default. Uh, we saw a low of 93.85 yesterday and Euro dollar opens a little higher this morning around the 117.15 mark. Right, that's it from me. Have a great day. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.